am lucky enough to help bring you Landed Music, which brings the latest happenings in Australian music to your lounge rooms. Thank you for tuning in and supporting your local artists. We are going to catch up with Canberra local Big Dave soon. But first, let's get things started with the band formerly known as... On 10. Hey, it's Beck. You're on Landed, joined by Canberra MC Big Dave. How you going? How hey you going, Beck? Good to be here. Uh, now, how did Big Dave ca come to be? Because Dave Parsons to Big Dave, bit of a transition. A transition there. Um, Big Dave came from Dave Parsons, I guess. It comes from my love of hip-hop. You know, I started getting into hip-hop at about 14, 15. Um, you know, just as a fan and then found myself in prison um, back in uh, 2002 to 2005. And um, while I was in there, I had a lot of time on my hands, you know, uh, pen and paper, started writing a few songs, you know, getting into it and then got into a few freestyles, battles, sort of ciphers and that sort of yeah. stuff. And then just went from there. And when I got out, I just sort of ran with it, you know. Yeah. Uh, and I mean, obviously, since that time, since you, you were released from jail, yeah. uh, you have released an EP. I have, yeah. The, yeah. the first EP came More out. stories. Yeah, mm -hmm. in 2000 and I actually launched it right here in this studio on Stay Focus. Yes, yeah, yeah. It did, yeah, long, long, uh, Raw Stories, okay. Volume 1. Yeah, yeah. Um, we haven't got a Volume 2 yet. <laughs> no, no, there's no Volume 2. Um, we had, um, before before the new distribution deal we had, I was with um, with a local distributor which was called Under Canine, yeah. and um, they didn't give me any royalty checks or any payments for it. So, um, harsh. Yeah, so <laughs> kind of harsh. So, you know, I chased them for about a year for checks and stuff, yeah. and then in the end I just thought, stuff it, and I scrapped that, scrapped the entire Raw Stories idea and thought, Start again, you know. And that's when you've created a KP Records. Yeah, your own that's right. Label. Yes, I've, I've built the label now. Yep. And um, you know, um, after we left that distributor because of the obvious Reason. problems with them, yeah, obviously money flow, uh... the money flow, and, and all that. Yeah. Um, so you know, I sort of we went back to the free game and, and did you know the free downloads, mixtapes, DVDs, all that sort of stuff. And then um, uh, through sheer luck, I guess you'd call it, um, John Payne, the president of Wide Awake and Death Row, sort of yeah. came into contact with me and we became good friends and we got a distribution deal through them, so now we've sort of restructured the label, aligned ourselves with them and now it's time to uh, put another album out. You've had a, a number of amazing supports though, mm -hmm. like Bone Thugs and Harmony uh, and yeah. joining like the Outlaws, I mean Two Packs crew, that like was, how, did, how did that happen? <laughs> that was that was surreal because I mean I'm, I'm a massive Two Pack fan, I yeah. mean, when he died, and this is another cliche thing, but I got the uh, got the crucifix, tat crucifix oh, tattooed on my arm that he yeah. used to have on his back and um, that's how much of a Tupac fan I was yeah. and um, they they came out to Australia just after I recorded a track with EDI of the Outlaws who I met through John Payne from Death Row and they were doing a 10 year uh, ten year anniversary of Tupac's death concert on the on the actual anniversary at the Big Top in Luna Park oh and my it was amazing yeah I got to um, you know I was backstage with them first and then got to go out and warm the crowd up do my set and um, yeah, then they come on and you know played the Tupac tribute and it was surreal. So it was, um, you know, you've gone from being that kid who was listening to the album yeah, yeah. to actually playing with the to Outlaws, actually playing with his crew, yeah, recording tracks with them, and now signed on Death Row. And yeah, yeah I mean, because you have you fe featured on on some of their like albums, EPs. Yeah, I was on, um, I was on their mixtape in yeah. uh, 2009, I think it was. Yeah, yeah. official Outlaws mixtape, and um, <laughs> yeah, it's kind of surreal. It's hard to hard to take in, and so I just keep rolling forward and just keep rolling with it. You know what happens happens, and uh, yeah. I'll sit down and reflect on it later. <laughs> Absorb it in. <laughs> <laughs> uh, that's, a, that's the next album, uh, next song after Days Gone By. <laughs> yeah, yeah, I'm taking oh, it in. Yeah. yeah. <laughs> <laughs> uh, well, let's check it out on Land of Music. It's Days Gone By. Uh, Dave, thank you so much no for joining worries. us. Thank you. Hey, this is Big Dave. You're watching Land of Music. Yeah. So 
side of the track so it was hard to relax With the boys in blue always checking my stats Nine lives like cats, change cars and flats And then I switch hats, clean my money, pay tax I'll face the case and see how the judge reacts Boom, boom, shellac, things were headed up I got stuck and fell back Yeah, welcome crack, they cut me no slack And the cuffs went click, black, so I faded to black Use the X-Wing address when you send me a pack I watched the day stack It was harsh, about a thousand past and I came back yeah, what I Makes plenty of money, but it sure doesn't pay. Found a new way to play. Learn to rhyme inside while others learn to pray. I'm old words like play. Drop written and battle in the MC in my way. I have plenty to say. Looking for record deals like needles in hay. So I had to display how to do it independent like your local IGA. Now I'm here to stay. Sign an act straight out of this urban decay. Yo, I did it my way. This is real life, son. This is the game I play. Yeah, what I am. Dave on landed. He is what's known as a slashy. He's a rapper slash record producer slash concert promoter who is bringing Ice Cube to our shores next year. Hit up his website for all the info. Up next, Sydney.